Hello, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today I'm going to be talking about my June wrap-up. These are books that I read in June. There is about six books and they all are different and very interesting. So the first book I'm going to talk about is a book that I already did a review for, so I'm not going to talk much about it, and that is Ruined by D.E. Eliot. And this is a family drama that surrounds three different families who are connected by an, a tragic car accident. And you will learn a lot of secrets, a lot of things that about their life and their struggles and everything that um, make them ruined <laughs> besides just the accident itself. I enjoy this story. I think it's a very good thought-provoking story and I highly recommend that people pick it up. I will link my review in the description bar. So check it out. The next book is also a family drama and I picked this book up off my shelf because I had made a shelf with all these unread books and I did a video talking about it and I decided to pick up this book and this is Little Fire Everywhere and this is also a family drama that is very interested, divided the town um, and this idea of being a parent, whether you're naturally a parent or you adopt a child and people are taking sides. There's also um, a lot of questions, a lot of things that is brought up in this book that sometimes um, made me upset <laughs> and I find that I had to like um, disconnect certain things to the story because I, at, at times I was like definitely upset about what was going on. So. I think I'm going to review this book more later on, but this was interesting and I see why it was very popular. The next book is a romance by Mariana um, Zapata and I haven't read any book since last year which was like my biggest book I've read which was over 600 pages. This also is a long book as well, but this book is like a romance that is around two, two um, there's two individuals that have this love-hate for each other. Um, they grew up together and um, they needed each other in order to um, compete. They are figure skaters and it reminded me of an old movie from the 80s and I remember just watching that movie as a child and loving it and wish I knew how to ice skate. So this book was just so sweet for me but I love the couple in the story. I love the... the um, the chemistry they had because they hated each other but it was kind of sexy at the same time and I am all for it so you know if you need a really interesting um, sweet slow burn because there's no instant nothing in this there's no instant love there's definitely no, no sex this is a slow burn um, romance novel and you know pick it up so the next two books are a series from Penelope Douglas and when I tell you, this woman shocked the hell out of me. I read these books thinking, I thought nobody could really give me that kind of romance that was uncomfortable, problematic, sexy, juicy, scandalous, but I loved it. It's one of those um, books that I felt like you shouldn't have loved. You know, for various reasons. But I'm going to dedicate a video for this particular author. Because I've read three so far and I'm going to read another one where I'm going to talk about her writing style. Her, the, the things that she chooses to talk about in her book. And th in this case, this is a story that is surrounds um, four men who are very dominant, very have this uh, personality of being predators. And this woman, in each book, there's a woman. And the women in this book are totally different. So there's a lot of people that didn't like the first book and I understood why. And in the second book, the woman is a little bit more tougher. She has this, this um, fighter thing about her. And it made it a little bit more um, bearable when you're reading the page to deal with that story versus the first one where it can be a bit uncomfortable. But I don't want to talk too much about this. I think I'm going to just really like dedicate a video to this kind of writing style and this kind of dark romance in um, romance novel. So the next book I picked up solely because a subscriber mentioned this. If you've read um, 
32 Candles and uh, A Girl's Guide to um, Date an Extraordinary Man. And these, these two books are by Ernest Carter. And last year, 32 Candles was my favorite book that I read last year. And in that video, I mentioned I wish she would write. I wish she would continue. And she has, she hasn't stopped writing. She has 23 other published novels. But she is using a different name, which is Theodora Taylor. I was shocked. I was like, all this time, I could be binge reading her <laughs> romance novels and had no idea that she's using another name for that kind of genre. And so I picked up the first one because I wanted to go back to her older ones. I want to have this journey with her from her older books to her more recent books. And I went back to the one, the old one, that you could tell because the cover is very ill <laughs> and all that. And it felt like a whole different person. You can tell, and the old one is also prior to 32 Candles and her follow-up for that book. So this is one of her earlier works before she went into the contemporary area. And you can tell this was not a good good book <laughs> it had it was promising in the beginning but it felt like um, when romance um, author just start and they want to talk about romance but it made the book more about sex and there's nothing but sex there's no real storyline that makes sense there's a lot of um, predictable things that's happening this is what this book remind me of I read this book thinking no 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 this is not the same author that i love <laughs> this is not and it was that but what i did appreciate about the book it made me realize where she came from where she started because if you read her other books that i really enjoy you can see how her writing has evolved and how she knows to tell a story that can be you know have those dramatic sexy moments but there is an actual story that you can enjoy and this one is the first book was definitely lacking that it was definitely um not well thought of um it was it had the potential of being good had she took time to develop, develop the story versus um focusing on having these um you know erotic moments and these over-the-top sexual scenes that that basically what this book was about but because i know what she can write i'm going to continue with um reading her books under her name theodora taylor so i am all for it and i love this it just made me wonder like how many other authors that i love are writing under a different name that i don't know of but i appreciate that subscriber that's telling me this because it really made me so excited i'm like yes i'm gonna do this and you know she's not the only one that i know i haven't started that i need to read books from them from using a different name you know everybody know um geneva holiday so you know google that you'll find out who that is <laughs> but i am for it i'm for it i'm, I'm for you know experiencing her writings um improvement over time yeah i'm all for it so anyway that is all the six books that i have um read this month and go ahead leave a comment if you knew ernesto carter was using a different name let me know if you knew because i, I felt like i was probably the only one <laughs> that had no clue all this was going on so you know leave a comment and let me know if you've read any of these books guys yeah it's time for me to get off here because she's not having it. <laughs> so, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye. Really? Really?